What is up everyone? Welcome to another first impression video. So yesterday we got these in at the store. This is the A6 Trinusa 14. First off, I just, I love this color. And that's the main reason why I bought this shoe. It came with neon yellow laces and I changed it to the blue and I just think it looks sick. And I also, you know, did a little jog in it and I was like, hmm, these actually feel pretty good. And they're only 130 bucks. So compared to a lot of shoes right now that are running, you know, 165, 150, you are gonna save a little extra money on these shoes. Um, so I'm about to go ahead, take these for a 10 mile spin and give you all my first impression. So stay tuned. All right, here we go. Just hit mile one, mile two. Mile three, mile four, still cruising. Mile five, mile six, mile seven, a few more to go. Mile eight, still chilling. Mile nine, baby, one more. And you already know what I'm repping, die running. You can get yours at dierunning.com. Boom guys, 10 miles. And it was a eight minute, eight second per mile pace. Um, felt good, man. It was humid out there, as you can see. I'm drenched. So let's go upstairs and get a cup of water. Talk about the tri -nooses. Okay, everybody. So the first 10 miles on these tri -nooses is complete. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about some things that I noticed about the shoe. So, I would say like compared to an A6 Nimbus, this didn't have as narrow of a forefoot feel. I felt like I had enough room to like splay my toes a little bit more and the heel didn't feel super secure, but it also didn't feel loose. So I'm not saying that it was loose. Um, it just wasn't as tight as I'm used to like some of the A6 fitting. Like I said earlier, extremely lightweight. You know, you barely notice it's on your dang foot. So that's pretty impressive. So there is a little bit of a toe roll off, you know, when you are running and I mean, I didn't really notice it too much. It didn't feel um, like it was, you know, helping me a whole lot or anything like that. It just felt pretty average. I didn't hate it, didn't love it so far. If you're a person that wants a, a daily mileage shoe that isn't gonna be super soft, you like a little bit of a firmer feel while also being lightweight, this might be a pretty good option. Um, and throwing the fact that it looks awesome too. So, like I said, not a super secure heel, not a super secure forefoot, but that's good for anybody that has a little bit of a water foot. Um, because for me, it didn't feel like it was restricting my foot, and I have a pretty average foot. And just the weight, super lightweight, um, not super soft, not super firm, uh, solid daily trainer shoe. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to just leave it at that for my first impression. Um, and coming soon, I'll have a more in-depth review of this shoe probably put at least 50 miles on it so at least four more 10 mile runs to really get to know the shoe um but so far pretty awesome i like it i like the color the lightweight um it's not restricting my foot so so far it's getting a pass so make sure you guys stay tuned for the future video when i do a full review of this a6 noosa tri 14 thank you for watching peace